This video has been made possible through financial support from the Fred C. Glockner Foundation and the American Floral Endowment. Welcome to this video from eGro. In this video, you will learn how to measure the pH and EC or electrical conductivity of your growing media using the pour through testing method. The first step in the pour through testing method is to irrigate your crop to saturation. You should irrigate with regular irrigation water or fertilizer if you're using a constant liquid feed program. Irrigate your crop uniformly until water just begins to drip out of the bottom of the pots. Allow the pots to sit for one hour before continuing with the test. This step is crucial as it allows the water to equilibrate with the nutrient solution in the pot. In the meantime, you can gather supplies that you will need to complete the test. You will need pot saucers, small plastic cups, distilled water, some paper towels, and your pH and EC meters with calibration solutions, and a data sheet to record your test results. A plastic file box makes a convenient storage and carrying case for your media testing supplies. Before you begin, it is important to calibrate your pH and EC meters. You should calibrate your meters every time you use them. There are many different models of pH and EC meters. It is important to follow the calibration instructions provided with your particular model to ensure that you are getting the accurate readings. Now you're ready to begin your pour through testing. Select a representative sample of pots from your crop. 5 to 10 pots per crop is a good sample size. Place a pot saucer under each pot. You will now add a small amount of distilled water to the top of each pot. This will displace the water which has been sitting in the pot for the last hour. The displaced water will be pushed out of the pot and into the collection saucer. The amount of distilled water you will add will vary depending on your pot size and your growing medium. You will want 50 milliliters of leachate to drip out of the pot into the saucer. For a 4 inch or 6 inch pot, 75 milliliters or 2.5 ounces of distilled water added to the top of the pot is usually an appropriate amount. Let the leachate drain from the pots for a few minutes. Then carefully pour the leachate from the saucer into a small plastic cup. This will make it easier to test the solution. Do not mix the samples. You need to test the leachate from each pot separately. Using your calibrated meter, test the pH and EC of each sample and record the values on your data sheet. Be sure to rinse and dry your meter between samples. Refer to your production guide to see if the values lie within the optimal range for your crop that you are growing. Test your crops regularly, every week or two if possible. Look for trends. Is your pH rising over time? You may need to acidify your media to ensure that the micronutrients remain available for uptake by the plants. Is your media EC dropping? You may need to increase your fertilizer rate before the crop suffers from nutrient deficiencies. By testing on a regular basis and looking for trends in your measurements, you increase your ability to spot and remedy developing problems before it's too late. Thank you for watching this video on how to conduct a pour through test of your growing media. For more information about growing in a greenhouse, visit the eGrow website at e-grow.org. We would like to give a special thanks to the Fred C. Glockner Foundation and the American Floral Endowment for financially supporting this video.